my primary purpose uh, in being in these meetings is to facilitate the production and marketing and whatever else of your stuff. Um, I was actually, it's funny, I was, you know, given how our meetings have been going, I was going to suggest to you that we had a, a separate uh, meeting once a week on logistics for the project because I thought that would be necessary, but, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, given what we've all said here, maybe a, a stronger focus on, uh, you know, bringing your stuff to public as a primary goal of these meetings would, would be good. Okay. Now that we've like talked about what we're here to do. Okay, and thank you, Zamir, for bringing that up. Um, I can get sort of pulled in many directions when I'm in fields of people and knowing that each of you has your own things that you want to do and sometimes feeling I'm in more of a support role for that and maybe that's what I should be doing and utilizing this just to help people to get ahead with what they want to do sort of thing versus you know me specifically getting help to get the tools ready to go do that anyway so I mean I, I, I do need help and I can't do it alone and you know you are people that I've hoped to work with around this I just sometimes um I don't know. Like, I mean, at some point I need, you know, people that are hundred percent committed to whatever it is that I'm doing and that's a team. And then that team is helping all these other teams to, to do other things. So it's, I guess there's probably lots of, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure each of you is, is in relationship to me quite a bit differently because it looks like Jordan has his, I mean, I don't know, but this is what I would say is, I mean, Jordan has, you know, this massive piece of work that he's utilizing the inflow matrix with, uh, Nova is helping to build the, the thing, but he has his, his whole game. You know, I mean, I think what we saw was just saw that everyone has these big projects they're working on. Um, and I think Lara, you know, at the spinning mini has, you know, she also has a store and she also right now is, is losing her home in the middle of the winter. And she's been in this beautiful place for a long time and she has a hard time finding that place. So Lara isn't in the greatest place to be able to focus her attention. Um, and I know Chinoa has, again, a lot of her own creative pursuits that she's doing right now. And so does Samir. So I think just, just seeing and knowing that you're here specifically for that helps me to focalize how to use this time well, because I, I, I do want to use it well. Um, but at the same time, I felt that I, I wanted you to, you, each of you needs a time to, to, to speak about your own thing, I find usually, but maybe, maybe that, I, I don't have to do that. Blair, I'm just wondering, maybe there's some kind of support that we can give you right now in some way. Um, I think this is helpful. Getting together with people and trying to, yeah, focus on the, the after, whatever is happening here with me. Um, I still have a trajectory and like a goal, right? And it's good to keep going back to it and, and doing that. It's important, but yeah, it's hard to work out of fear and in a situation like this. But I'm trying to put all my energy into all the lovely things that I am, and the fact that I I can manifest anything. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll I'll be okay. Mm. I mean, the thing about Lair is, is she's she's very set up well with her store and her location and her commitment and her whole situation to be one of the first places to actively use the tools in the public. And so, you know, Lair has been, been critical. Uh, but again, like, well, I, I, I feel like if 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 in the process of doing this, there's like clarity on like simple processes and there's an online demonstration of how people are coming together to use it it'll be really clear for her how to apply that in her space right it'll like it'll be an outcome of this and i'm yeah. sure it'll just be very clear she'll be like oh da da da, we figured this out <laughs> like okay now i'm going to do it physically and try it out here right like i think it'll just be a natural outcome you know uh mm -hmm. i i think that if we uh, m my thought if i was to think put my like practical thinkers hat on was that 
you know, I don't know how um, Nova is creating this, but uh, if we could create a, a web app, so something that would be available on the internet that could easily be translated to like an Android or iOS app that anybody would be able to use to quickly do a like divination with one of the lenses. And so if we could think a couple of different situations and you could pick your situation and then do like click to get a card and then the card comes up because Nova already created that first time that we met, like he had a way of like laying out the cards in a certain way. And I feel like if we just looked at that and then brainstormed it and then he built around it and then we had that become like, you know, I didn't find the, the user interface very aesthetic personally, not to be insulting, but I think we could do a better job and we would get more like a graphic designer kind of person on that. And then after that, we have it turned into an app that we can also use on our phones. And that would be super cool, right? And I think we're pretty close to that from what I saw, from what Nova created. Well, it's not that far away. Nova, can you show the second iteration? Um, yeah, okay. Because um, we, we do have an upgrade that is in the midst of being created. Uh, okay. I would like to also get a, a working calendar out there with your work, Elijah. I think that that would be super cool. I thought, oh, if I could only put this together before the first uh, of this year, it would have been cool if I could have focused. But... Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Like actually, we're, actually, we're, we're just like starting a new cycle now. Where you could kind of, you could do your writings in it and you can, from each space, so that you can organize your you know, with the calendar daily, I think would be amazing, right? And then it would get people on track to keep going, you know, awesome calendar books like the Wee Moon, be the next Wee Moon, but with Maya and stuff and with like, yeah, with the whole Maya. Event. Well, I, I do have the calendar, um, but I guess because I, I printed it on 11 by 17 and it cost $50 just at cost. And I thought that was perhaps a little high for people. I think we should try and figure out how to make it into like a, a like a small book with tabs. Right. You know, and tab it back. OK, this is what my thoughts were in my personal space. This is what I need to do for a group. And this is what I need to do, you know, okay. and then so a daily with the five spaces. OK. Yeah. I also, you can go back to your weekly and see the whole thing, and then you know, think that that would be helpful for people to have as a pocketbook. Uh, I'll I'll share my screen if you let me again, real quick. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll also underlying success uh, for what we're trying to do here is yeah, we need to determine what we're trying to do, and then you know, what do we need to do it? How far along are we? Who's doing what? And have a bit of a system, base camp, uh, some sort of, you know, online software, I think is probably a smart idea or, or someone to track it, just so we know, you know, who's working on what, or, you know, like, what are the goals we're trying to do here? Uh, you know, I think there should be someone working on crowdfunding your stuff because why not you got a lot of content i think people would support it you can give out uh you know perks to people who give you money all sorts of different things because you have all sorts of things to produce so i think uh if we had you know one person or a whole team of people working on crowdfunding this thing would get going pretty fast uh also you know a few more it people as i've been saying kind of behind the scenes to you yeah. would be very helpful uh, i'm not a designer i you know, designed a game, I've designed all sorts of stuff, but I'm a better programmer than anything else. Um, I'm also pretty decent at project management. Uh, that's kind of where I'd like to be. But yeah, having a few other people on IT would, would be very helpful, I think, in general for what we're trying to do here. If we want to make apps, we want to make a whole integrated system of your systems. That's a lot of IT. Uh, but that's only one piece of it, I think. I think you also need to be you know, producing your cards in a card set like Zamir has. You need mm -hmm. to be, you know, 
making calendars, make a whole package, make smaller things. You have a whole product line that needs to be put out basically. So I think we, we need to focus on that mm. as well. Um, yeah. So anyway, here's the second iteration. Uh, I haven't finished uh, making a function, but basically these four buttons are gonna go somewhere. Uh, you're gonna be able to start a caravan, new spell as we've seen. Uh, the rest of it is basically the same. Start a conversation. Uh, not actually sure where that's going, but there's a plan I'm sure. Uh, but basically visually, this is what it's supposed to look like in, in the second iteration. I still think uh, something close to the first one might be better for an app just because it's simpler, but there's lots of different you know, ways to, you could arrange it and visually design it. And uh, yeah, I think it could be pretty cool one way or another. Uh, open for feedback from people. Do you want me to explain it? I mean, it's... Maybe, uh, maybe we can put the calendar into this too. Maybe it could be a, da a daily calendar for people to also plug in their stuff for themselves, maybe even in, in the future as an app or something, so. Like, I'll say something too. I personally visualized your tools, Elijah, as, you know, one huge integrated system of different parts, different tools that people can use. I think the future of your stuff is, is that, like one giant system where people can use a piece of it, they can buy a piece of it or pay for a piece of it or perhaps use a piece of it for free. And there's other pieces connected to that and they all connect together somehow into this giant system, which is obviously what you've all been working on. Like you've been working on all of that. So yeah, I think integrating everything that you have all together is the ultimate goal, I think. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the interfaces are the, you know, I, they, I just see software as different from software as it is now, and that there's going to be, you know, at some point, you want a holistic system that is really organizing and sharing the knowledge really well. And it just isn't done in the manner that I've, I've seen it. And you've always talked about that Nova too. And uh, I think that, um, you know, we're entering into a new realm of software. And I think what you showed Zamir the other day was is part of it. You know, there's just there's so many different apps, there's so many different games, and it's just how do you put them together into a, a bigger system that allows us to actually sort of make a living through it, you know, together, each doing what we want to do. But any other feedback on this um, interface? I mean, what I would appreciate it. I mean, I'm just speaking for myself because I have to go, but if it would be also nice to have like a email with like both of them and then like I don't know I could play around with it you know try the first one try the second one see what function works what doesn't what some bugs are it's almost like when you work with it then you really get a much better idea right rather than just seeing the integration the share screen so that would be great for me I don't know if that's possible Nova Uh, yeah, I mean, the first iteration works, um, you know, definitely probably has some bugs. Uh, this one, I'm just finishing it up. It just visually looks like it works right now, but it doesn't do anything, but it will. Okay. Um, personally, I like the idea of figuring out the function of everything first um, before adding too much, um, you know, too much design because, yeah, it just, you, you need to figure out what the focus is. And if there's too much design, it, 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 it can be a bit too much in my opinion. So I really like this color presentation. I really like this presentation. And um, yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with everything that's being said. And um, uh, I think what we really, what re Elijah really does need is a crowdfunding kind of a fundraiser um, instead of trying to find one specific person that's gonna be the you know, the um, financier of the whole thing, uh, perhaps the first step in the funding is to do a crowdfunding. And so we have to look at everything that's going to be offered on the crowdfunding. If there's a team that will, you know, put together a crowdfunding. And I think sometimes if there's too many people working on one specific thing, so maybe two or three people would work on the crowdfunding. Um, 
building a crowdfunding ideas. And um, it's completely different than, you know, than what, uh, what Nova's doing. Right. Yeah. But I think having the first stage one, the, the um, you know, just the plain question one, the first iteration is probably enough for crowdfunding people to check it out, you know? And if you have a list of all these other things you're gonna do, um, you know, it can, it can really create some great excitement. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been, after seeing the first iteration, I thought that, you know, almost by itself was good enough, but I just wanted to get it to this stage. And yeah. I think with it at this stage functioning, we are definitely going to have lots of practice traffic. Um, lots of things are going to come from this thing actually working, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that's something that I can offer is to do some research on crowdfunding, how it works. Um, what, you know, the whole, I'll just research the whole thing of, of what we need to do to put together a crowdfunding. My basic, I want to utilize it so that it can all integrate so that we all, it can sell itself in a way once it's, you know, once you have a whole bunch of testimonies and a whole bunch of, you know, examples of it working with everything and what you can do within it and very clearly laid out and done. I think uh, that's all we really need. And then once that it will kind of sell itself. And that's when I think it's ready for crowdfunding and for all that. Um, well, there's another program called Kickstarter, which where you don't have to have that much developed in order to put the Kickstarter funding together. And maybe we could do both um, because Kickstarter definitely attracts a different, a different crowd of people. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a bit of research myself in crowdfunding because I'd like to put a, a bit of a project together for my game when I release it here. And I know like there's Indiegogo, Kickstarter, and GoFundMe are the top three ones. GoFundMe is for personal stuff only. Like uh, I have, you know, I got to pay for some surgery, etc. cetera. Um, Kickstarter and Indiegogo are pretty much the same. There's just a few differences mm -hmm. like Kickstarter. If you don't get all the money that you asked for, you get $0.00. Uh, Indiegogo, if you get, if you ask for $80,000 and you get $1,400, you'll still get the $1,400. Uh, other mm -hmm. than that, Kickstarter is about three times more popular, three times more visited, three times more contributed to. So ultimately, I think that would be the one to go for. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll, I'll figure it all out. Okay. Start putting something together. Very nice. Now, Elijah, you also said, had, had the idea of a few people outside of our group that can support with um, with doing some of the writing um, and doing some of the other things that need to get done. Mm. So, you know, maybe we could call in some of that as well. Um, but if we have a list of everything that needs to be done and who can contribute what, um, that's, so that that's sort of where I'm what I can do for you. I like raising money. I like money. Okay. Well, I think if this is, if this is this first screen we're seeing here is the first product, it gives me the right, like that's what I thought and suggested, but it's, it's uh, I'm glad all of you have stated your desire to support the project and me and what I'm doing. Um, Cause it is also meant to support you guys once it gets going in, in a way. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, I find I, I'm, I don't know, I just see, seen inside me a lot of sort of internal blocks around believing a team is actually going to do something. And, um, so I, I think that's another part of why I haven't been jumping in fully in a way that, uh, I, I hope to now. Um, well, you know, I mean, um, Nova has put together something actually really fantastic for you, Elijah. And, um, and you know, it, it's just building one step upon another. To, so to see it as one big daunting, overwhelming thing is maybe where we're trying to like, okay, let's just focus in on the specific tasks, like what Zamir was saying. 
and um, they figure out a task that needs to be done and either someone volunteers to do it or you find somebody else that needs to do it. So, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I'd want to keep it just as an hour. I know you guys are busy, got lots to do. So it's five o'clock unless there's a, if anyone wants to say something, we're coming to the end of this. Um, I, I just want to throw out there as well. Um, and I, I don't know how this fits in with your scheme, but uh, if any of us know anyone else who might, we think might be interested and has some designer or IT background, I would be super interested in talking to them or having Elijah talk to them or considering them to help out. I don't know. For it will sure. make my job faster. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And I've been very bad on that end. Um, do, you, do you need more of a graphic designer type person, computerized graphics or more? Um, yeah, uh, programming. at this point, the thing that would help me the most is um, someone who knows CSS, like a design, uh, you know, a designer for web, because that's basically what we're working on here. Um, yeah, like uh, Elijah, you do all the graphic design basically at this point, like the actual, you know, visual visual items, and that's I think it's awesome. But yeah, someone to really design the you know, the guts of the website would be helpful to me because I'm not as good as that as programming. So yeah, someone who's who knows a lot about CSS and knows basic HTML is, is kind of what I'm after. Okay. 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 Good. Okay, and I'll, I'll talk with you all individually uh, to get a little bit tighter understanding as to what, what your sort of part will be, I guess. Okay. Uh, so thank you for coming today. Um, and thank you for showing your support. It means a, a lot to me. And uh, much love to all of you. Thank you, Elisha. Thank you. Thanks, Elisha. It's nice to see you all. Hmm.